your own eyes, experiencing the situation as if you were there and in real time or as close to the real time as possible. So go into the future, five years into the future and experience those three situations and 10 years into the future and 15 years into the future, experience those situations and see how your future can be without that person. Now, you don't have to, in going 5, 10, 15 years, it doesn't have to be exactly 5 years. So, uh, event A can be 4 years and 6 months, event B can be 5 years and 10 months, and event C can be 6 years. It doesn't really matter, it's about 5 years, about 10 years, about 15 years. If you go 25 years into the future, that's still okay. The issue is for you to clean your future of um, uh, that other person that you want to get over and to build a new future for yourself. Now, in order for this exercise to work, you really cannot pull your punches. So, the bad traits of the person have to be bad. You cannot just make them, ah, I'll make that person a little bit bad, but not so much because I still want to be friends with them, I still want to adjust my relationship with them. It won't work. If you want to do something like that, go full Monty, really make the traits bad and then maybe reform, reform them into, uh, after you've um, changed the idea of how your future, future with the person will be, then you can try to change it or uh, reform it, but only then. Going to that future, you should experience uh, the life without the person as far more pleasant. And after this exercise, you should really have a decision in you to let go. But this will only work if you decide before the exercise that, okay, I want to get over that person. It won't work if you have in your mind, ah, I want to stop feeling so much for the person because then they, uh, they will see that I don't yearn for them so much and they will go back to me. So if you're doing this exercise with the hope that it will have make the other person go back to you, it won't work. This will help you if you want to get over the issue, if you want to get over the other person and only in that situation. In other scenarios, other situations, it really won't work that well. So please start with making a decision that you want to get over the person. Now, for some people, there are other issues here. Obviously, if you have kids or uh, if you're in debt together, then you might uh, need to meet the person and you might need to uh, make some rules about how to meet the kids or how to pay the debt. And these are very much things to consider, to sit down and plan. Um, the exercise here is more for just letting go of the person. For some people, the issue will be, uh, if I let go too quickly, then I'm a bad person. Because a good person would suffer for some time after the relationship ends. And I've had clients who had this attitude. So in this case, uh, believe change work, uh, and there are some other videos that uh, refer to that, will be useful. What would you need to believe in order to be able to let go? Uh, to believe that you don't need to be a bad person to leave such a relationship. Uh, another issue that can come up is people who are uh, not as much in love with the person but in love with the general idea of love. Now this will usually be people who haven't been in many relationships uh, and if they have been the relationships will usually be quite uh, quick and the reason for that is the person doesn't really fall in love with the other person but they have this perfect idea of what love should be like and they take that idea and they project it to the person and when it turns out that the other person is in fact human it has faults has issues um, has quirks which haven't been planned in that general perfect idea of love then obviously that person isn't there to love so they leave take away that 
idea of love and they keep it to project into another person and then another and then another. If you have such an attitude, it's not really healthy. So I would really suggest you reconsider and start go, uh, concentrating on being interested in the other person and in, not in the idea of how they should be or and, uh, how their love should work. Now, some people have asked me if this process can be reversed. If you can use the technique to fall in love to fall out of love. Uh, sorry, to fall. Uh, if you can use the technique to fall out of love, to fall in love. Uh, I had clients uh, coming into uh, and telling me, "Listen, there's this guy. He's he likes me. He's handsome. He's nice. He makes a lot of money. He treats me wonderful. But I don't really feel anything to, uh, for him. Can you make me fall in love with him? Because he would be really a great match to me." And I can, I really like to be with him, but I don't really feel anything, he doesn't excite me in any way. And for such people I tend to say that, well, it's possible, I wouldn't really do it because uh, ethically it might be a bit troublesome. Because imagine the situation in 10 years when you have an argument with the person and you suddenly realize, uh, actually I kind of only love the person because I did that technique 10 years ago to fall in love with them. When you look at this perspectively, it's really not that healthy. So I really wouldn't recommend using those uh, attitudes or those approaches with such a person. So really, when you concentrate on falling uh, on this, it's more of a technique for falling out of love. Uh, for falling in love, my best suggestion is just to try to spend as much time with the person in as many different situations as possible. Then you will learn more about the person and possibly find out that they are someone you want to spend your life with. So this is my suggestion for falling out of love, for getting over heartbreak, getting over someone who either doesn't love you or who has loved you but decided to move on. And I can realize that it can still cause some hurt, it can still cause some pain, but it really will help you get over uh, those situations in one of the quickest possible ways available and for most people just one time of going through this exercise if they give it enough time so this isn't a one minute exercise spend 15 20 25 minutes on going through the process and that should be enough to let you get over your heartbreak good luck and see you soon